Charlie Cushain here to do another truck camper mod on my 2012 Chalet Double Slide. This time I'm going up on the roof and I have an antenna problem. So let's go take a look. Okay, as you can see, I have an older batwing style antenna and going into the last place we camped, a branch came and caught this antenna and snapped it. And it actually broke the casting right here to the point where it's totally unusable and I can't fix it. So I decided I would change this out for the new King antenna and do a test to see which is better. Um, this should still work, so I'm gonna put it up and check how many stations I get, and then I'm going to do it with the new antenna. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, with the old broken Batwing antenna, I found 15 channels. So that's our benchmark for the new antenna. So let's go put the new antenna on and see what we get. Okay, the new antenna I'm going to be putting on is this King Jack replacement head. It goes on the crank up arm that the old bat wings on. You pull the two pins, put this on, hook it up with the same cable, the same amplifier, and should be just drag and drop. Put it right in and let's see it work. Let's go put it on. In the box, they give you all kinds of parts. Uh, a power amplifier if you don't have one in your camper. Um, ways to pull mount it, which I'm not using. And they say the first thing to do if you're putting it on your old Batwing, just take it out of the bag. And you place this mounting bracket with the screws provided. And since you're threading into plastic, I would recommend you do not use your drill. You just put these in by hand. They have a red indicator light, which should glow red, not after you put the cable on, but when you turn your power on. So you should be able to see that glow and then you know it's powered properly. So let's go take it up on the roof and see how easy it mounts. This is gonna mount like this. This toward the back of the camper. Right there. Using these same pins, but with new clips. So let's take that off. All right, go undo the cable. And I did power off the TV and the amplifier. So this, there's one pin. There we go. And you can see, that is what happened. It broke. Right here, the casting broke when I hit that tree. Okay, let's put these, this antenna on through these holes. There's one. Now the top one. There we go. Now the snap rings should go right back on. There's one. There. Okay, here's the pins I put in. 
and the snap rings. And then this cable, coax, just goes right here on the back. Okay. Okay, let's go crank it down to see how it goes. Perfect. Okay, one of the things I like to do while the antenna is down is I like to put some of this silicone grease on this gear right here. It makes it go up unbelievably easier. Just get some on your finger and smear it in the gear. I find without the grease, every year or two, it gets very hard to crank up. So let's go check the antenna in the stations. Well, as you can see, this new antenna, the King, got actually more channels. I haven't changed a thing. It's still rotated the same way. It got 17, whereas the other one, I think, got 15. That should be a marked improvement. This is a winner. The King Jack picks up stations great. It goes up and down fine. The only thing I don't like is you see at the end of my arms, this just sits on the rubber, the edge of that sheet metal. And I'm afraid over time, this vibration and rubbing, it's gonna poke a hole through the rubber roof. So I'm gonna add a piece of ultra high molecular weight polyethylene tape right to the roof right under that spot and that should eliminate or allow it to there now that can move back and forth and won't rub on the roof and that's a piece I can take off and change out if I want. So that's something to note if you're doing this yourself. Here's a close in view of a metal tube rests on the roof. And I now have put the tape on there so it can rub and won't wear through the rubber roof. Success. Looks great, works great. Ready for going camping.